everyone, welcome to the Quest of Mage and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video for the Nintendo Switch. As you all know, we finally got No Man's Sky 5.0 Worlds Part 1 available for the Switch and unfortunately I haven't been able to play the game as much as I'd like. But in my time that I've played this new update, I have noticed some big differences. So today I want to take a look at some graphical differences on a planet in the Nexus and in a space station to see the extent of what has changed and if it's changed for the better. So the way I'm going to do that is I picked a specific planet and on that planet I have footage with version 4.72 and in exactly the same place or as much as I could I got some footage in 5.0. The same thing applies to the space station and to the Nexus. So let's take a look at the planet so that we can see what the graphic changes are. So here we are, we are looking at version 4.72 and I will speed this up so that this video doesn't turn into a very long video, but you can see that the water does not move that much. The other thing that I found going back to the old update is the overall colours of the planet and of the water. As you can see here, the planet hue is predominantly red and the water is a kind of murky orange yellow. We can see through the water to the bottom of the sea and we're seeing some very nice water shadows on the bottom of that ocean. We see some but very few particle effects in the sky also. The clouds are one of the things to take away from the new update as you'll see shortly. So pay attention to the clouds that we're seeing here in the previous version of No Man's Sky. So that's during the day. Let's take a look at what the night looks like. So I've actually stopped it here just before we get to the evening so that you can see indeed the colour has changed when the sun starts to set. The sky is now predominantly blue but with that orange hue around the clouds. The sea itself has turned completely orange but again I wanted to pay attention to the colours that we're seeing here. So now let's go into the evening and see what that looks like. Here we are in the evening in the previous update and we can see the stars are lighting up the sky. Everything is kind of a dark blue hue which is what to be expected. All those oranges and yellows and ambers have disappeared and we're seeing a very nice nighttime effect. So now that we've taken a look at the planet for a while in the previous version, let's take a look at what it looks like in the 5.0 update so we can compare. So here we are in more or less the same spot on the same planet and immediately I think we can see a massive difference on Nintendo Switch's 5.0 update. Obviously the first thing that catches the eye is the water effect. The animation that Hello Games are now using is much more effective at conveying that this is indeed a body of water that we're looking at. The way it looked before was not bad, but this is 100% a massive improvement. We're seeing the water move much more dynamically as if it is indeed water. The clouds here are different but not too much different to the last ones. And I expected to see a much bigger difference here. However, we will see as this capture for 5.0 goes forward, we will see some bigger changes there. Now under the water, we're not seeing as much of that shadow effect, but potentially we'll be seeing more of that later. Another thing we're noticing here is the same planet, different color hues. Before, like I said, we saw yellows and embers and oranges. Now we're seeing more blues and teals and greens, which is interesting because again, it's the same place on the same planet. So changes have indeed been made. Those particle effects are back. It does seem like more of them are seen on screen. And as I've been talking, you will see that now the clouds moving are indeed different to the clouds before. They're moving in a more natural way to at least my eyes and I think it is a big improvement. So let's do what we did before. Let's fast forward a little bit until the sun starts to set and see what the difference is. So here we are with the sun starting to set and I think this looks similar in terms of color to the last update but definitely the clouds and the water systems that are now in place in this game look absolutely great. And specifically for the Nintendo Switch, I think this looks really, really good. Even though we're seeing more FSR artifacting around the character and the clouds overall when you're playing the game, it is definitely a massive improvement. And now here we are in the evening and I think you will see the same thing I'm seeing here, a much darker image overall, which is definitely welcome, at least for me. 
night times in the amount of time I've had with this update so far are definitely darker and feels more like an evening as opposed to just dark colors and dark blues. Here we're seeing the stars light up the sky once again, but I think they come across much more prominently than they did before. You will notice a red hue all the way across the sea there and also in the sky, giving me the feeling of there's indeed an atmosphere there, but it matches the sea. Underneath the water itself, we can see that the undulation effect is indeed working with the objects beneath them, lending itself very well to believability. I really do think that these changes are absolutely great and give new life to the world, which is indeed what we expected from that trailer and from what Hello Games said about worlds part one. They are indeed changing the world and hopefully we'll see more of this in part two. So that's an example of how the graphics are on the planet. Let's take a look at how they've changed or if they've changed on a space station. So this is the previous update. You'll see I have my solar ship flying into the space station here so we can see what indeed the differences are between one update and the other. Overall, I did think that this looked pretty good in version 4.72. We got the brand new space stations, which look great. And here I chose this exact spot to try and compare directly this version to the new one. We can see that the frame rate does indeed take a dip when things are farther away and we can definitely see a blurring or haziness effect to some of these items in game. There are times in No Man's Sky on Nintendo Switch where this can look absolutely great, but there are also times it does definitely look softer or fuzzier when you look at these graphics. So that's an example of what that looked like in the previous update. Let's jump to the new update and see if there have been any changes. Okay, here we are, same space station, but with the brand new 5.0 update. So far, not seeing that much of a difference. Now here we are with more or less, at least I tried, the same camera view of the space station. What do you think this is an improvement on what was there before? We can still see that the frame rate is indeed lowered for objects that are farther away, as we can see with the characters walking around. Looks slightly a fuzzier to me, and again, I think that's up to FSR being used much more than what it was before. But again, I'll leave it up to you to let me know in the comments. Do you think that this looks better, worse, or the same? So now that we're done with the space station comparison, let's take a quick look at the Nexus to see if we do indeed have any changes in there. Just like I've done with the space station, I'm going to fly in, as you're seeing here, into the Nexus. This is in the previous update, 4.72, so we can take a good look to see if there are any big changes. Good to see that stutter is now gone when you fly into the Nexus. That's now completely gone since the last update, which I'm very happy about. Here we are, we're landing, and uh, we can see the overall graphical quality here on Switch. Now I'm gonna do my usual walk up the walkway all the way to the main platform so we can take a very good look at everything around. As we can see, things are popping in as we are moving closer and we can see more and more of that detail coming through, obviously the closer we get. Overall, I do think it looks good on Switch considering the technology that the Switch is using. Now here's a close up of the Quicksilver Merchant. That's what it looked like in version 4.72. Again, a vast improvement on what it looked like before. I think it looks good, considering again, it's a handheld tablet that we're using to play this game. Next would be this wide angle view that I chose of the Nexus so we can see the majority of the architecture within it and most of what we interact with. I think again, that looks pretty good. We can see the volumetric smoke effects there in the top of the screen and we can see on each side of that, there's a chimney. Those effects are still there and overall again, slightly fuzzier, but a good overall fidelity, I think, for the Nintendo Switch itself. Here I also chose a similar positioning that I've used previously in a graphics comparison, which is where we see majority of the characters on the Nexus, which I think here we can see the sharpness of the lines and we can see the outlines of all the objects and whether the overall image is clearer or not. Next would be my favorite camera pan that I done in my first graphics comparison, which is of the Nexus parking spaces, as we can see here. On Nintendo Switch, we are very lonely. We only have one ship in here at any point in time, which is a shame, but here we are. This is what it looked like in version 4.72, and I'm hoping that we'll see a big difference in version 5.0 when we are comparing it directly. 
So in the 5.0 update, does it look that much different in the space station? What do you all think? So again, in the new update, same Nexus, same system, what does it look like now? It's good not to see that bug return with the entrance of the Nexus itself, but I do think we can see that there has been an improvement in this structure in the game. Here we are again with the walk down the main walkway in the Nexus. And even though the pop-in is still there, I think that there's an apparent improvement in graphical quality here. I really, really like what they've done with version 5.0, at least for me. So let's now look at the Quicksilver Merchant once again. So what do you think with this Quicksilver Merchant? Do you think it looks better than what it did before? I do, but I don't know if that's coming across in this video because obviously there is a little bit of YouTube compression that goes with these uploads. But I can indeed see that there has been an improvement in graphical quality. So here we are with the same wide shot that we have within the Nexus. We still see that volumetric smoke, but to me it actually looks a little bit faster. If we're seeing the one there in the middle that's falling from the top of the Nexus down to the middle bit, it definitely looks like it's moving faster. The chimneys are still working as they did before. We can see the FSR with the Quicksilver icons there that are bobbing up and down. But again, I think it does look better. The overall image just looks crisper and I really do hope again that this comes across in this YouTube video. Now here's the promenade. Once again, to me, to my eye, this looks superior to what it did in the last update. So a really good job here from Hello Games. I think the image is much clearer than before. I can see much farther than the 4.72 update, which is great. Maybe less depth of field, but again, I don't know what techniques that they are implementing here. What I do know is it looks better to me. So here is the parking area of the Nexus, and I do think that this has once again been improved in comparison to the last update. Great job, Hello Games. Really like the way that this looks now. So those are the graphical comparisons that I've managed to put together for the 4.72 update and the 5.0 update. I have noticed in the comments that some people are saying the new update is an overall improvement, but some people are also saying it is now worse. So I wanted to ask all of you that are watching this video, how has your experience been? Is it better or is it worse? If you do comment down below, please also mention what type of Nintendo Switch you are using. Are you using an OG Switch, a Redbox Switch, an OLED Switch, a Switch Lite? I think that would also be an interesting exercise for us to do. I myself captured the 5.0 update with an OLED Switch, and the 4.72 update, I used an OG switch. Don't know if that makes much of a difference for the captures that we're seeing, but it'll be interesting to see what you all have to say about it. So what do you think of the brand new 5.0 update for Nintendo Switch? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Let me know down in the comments and let's have a discussion about it. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much again for watching. If you like what I do here, please do click that like button down below. Helps out the channel a lot. And if you want to see more, please click that subscribe button as that is the only way this channel can grow. Now, I hope you like this video and I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, thanks again.